have my vanity in my bedroom and I need to figure out the best way to get lighting in front of me because right now you can see it's all behind me. I can't really put it over there because of the way the room is. So I'm going to have to try and find some lights to go up around my mirror. I was thinking those ring selfie light, the ring, yeah, the selfie lights that just clip onto like your phone. And I was thinking I could probably get a few of those and just clip those on the sides of my mirror. Other than getting a, what is it, like a marquee type deal. I think this is going to work pretty well. I'm really excited. So let's get on with the get ready with me, shall we? Hey guys, it's Melly. I'm so excited to be uh, filming this on my vanity. I think we're improving. Um, the lighting isn't as bad in here, I feel, as it is in the bathroom. So there's a plus. My nose is itchy. <laughs> so I went in with my Rainforest of the Sea by Tarte and I cleansed my face with a beautiful gel foaming cleanser. It was delicious went over that with the drink of H2O hydrating moisturizer and it was so nice. I love that stuff. Second day using it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And it smells really good. It it kind of reminds me of acne face wash. It kind of has that same scent to it, but I kind of like it. It's it's a medicinal type of a smell. I'm going to go in with some NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. So T-zone, cheeks, nose, all the high points of the face. For foundation today, I'm feeling a CC Plus kind of a day, so we're going to go in with It Cosmetics. Your skin, but better CC Plus Illumination, color correcting, illuminating full coverage cream, plus anti-aging hydrating serum, plus SPF 50 plus UVA slash UVB broad spectrum, physical sunscreen, chemical filter free, and paraben free. <sighs> oh, that was a lot of words. So I'm going to go in with about a pump and a half. And I need a damp beauty blender, so I'm going to go wet this sucker up. One thing about not being in the bathroom is I have to actually get up to go to my water. Here we go with that CC. Oh, Holy crap. Is that too much? Half of the face? Other half of the face. Can you see this redness happening up in here? Yeah. Okay, and look at how much better. Yes. Can you tell that difference? I mean, there's a shadow there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get all of it onto the face. So Skylar is coming over today. Her birthday is on the 19th, which I think is Monday or Tuesday. And I have her present. So I'm going to be wrapping that today. I'm going to come over later tonight. We're going to have little pizza party, a little bit of wine. It's going to be a fantastic time. I'm so excited. I feel like I have that really weird spot right there. For concealer today, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light. Loving. Loving. This is such an amazing concealer. I am loving it so much. And a bounce. One like strand that won't play nice with the others. For bronzer, I really only have like one bronzer that I like. I mean, I have some bare minerals that I've had for eons since before the dawn of time. I really do like Chocolate Soleil from The Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials, so of course I'm going to use that again. I have my Morphe brush from my Nine Piece Vegan set. It is just a tapered off is so bad I can't see what it's doing so I'm just going to hope that I get it on even so yeah I don't know what I'm doing for blush absolutely you guessed it Milani baked blush in luminoso and it is gorgeous 
Oh, I haven't baked yet with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. Now that we have that bakeage working, you know what I'm saying? While that's working, I guess we'll just jump to eyes. So I need to grab out my shadow insurance. And, oh, this needs to be shaken, not stirred. Shadow insurance. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? <laughs> Now I have, I'm so excited because I have a very small collection, but um, it's my first real collection of makeup. And I have three options of eyeshadows to choose from. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons, which is amazing. Ugh, and it just, it smells so good and it has all those glorious colors in it. So fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. I love the way it smells. And then I also, the second one that I got was the Too Faced Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials. And this is also a favorite of mine because not only do you get Chocolate Soleil and Champagne Truffle Highlight. Oh, I forgot there was a highlight in there. Not only do you get those two, but you also get two different blushes. The I Will Always Love You, which is a corally color, and Justify My Love, which is a gorgeous pink. But you also get nine eyeshadows in some serious pigmentation colorage. They're all delicious, and I do really, really love this set. I may go back to it in a little while, but... Currently, I am really excited about and loving my Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So you open it up, has a mirror on the top, and then boom, you have all of these gorgeous colors with the nudie brownie tones, some rust colors, uh, and also a darker, a couple darker browns, and of course all those glorious pinks and reds. So pretty. Let me push in my drawer because it actually works now since I fixed it. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Got this for a dollar at Target and I'm gonna lay my base down with this and today I'm feeling kind of burnt orangey and rusty. I haven't really played with those yet so I'm gonna go in with this burnt orange for my base. Some of that lovely color up. Yes! And we are going for some bright eyes. I'm actually going to use the mirror on here so that I can get a little bit more light up in my eye area. One thing I need to work on definitely is the outside of my eye and getting a good shape. That is a really pretty base so far. I'm really liking that color. I feel like this one's higher. Crease time! This is my defining eye brush from e.l.f. Also a dollar picked up at Target. I'm not really a Target shopper. I was just there because I was waiting for Ulta to open. And of course, I just went straight to the makeup and I found these e.l.f. brushes for a dollar. I'm like, oh my god, I have to get these. I want to darken up that crease, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of Rielga, this beautiful pumpkin-y orange color. Ugh, I'm living for pumpkin right now. Yes, that is some pigment on there. You can't see it there, can't see it there, but maybe, yeah, if I put it in front of something else, you can, you can see it a little better. Okay, into the crease we go. All right, going in with my blending eye brush from e.l.f. Make sure there's no other colors on there and some windshield yes all right it's time to brush that bake away get out of the, get out of the way hair it's not your turn yet I want to bring some light raw sienna with my blending brush up to the top Sorry. I'm liking it. The lighting isn't too bad when I get all the way down here like this. I'm wanting to darken the corners. I'm thinking a little bit of red okra or ochre. I'm still not very good at the whole under eye area. So is that too dark? Is that too dark? I can't tell. 
So I do want a little bit of shimmeriness right next to that lash line. So with my defining eye brush from e.l.f., that pointy guy there, I'm going to get that red color off and I'm going to pick up some of the Primavera. This one right now. Yes, I'm not even going to tap it because I want all of that lashes shimmeriness right on my eye socket, my eyelid, whatever, whatevs. I love it. Yes. So much yes. Some golden okra, ochre, okra, ochre. Down underneath, okra. I think I'm just going to say okra. I'm going to kind of blend that up. Let's bring down some burnt orange. I don't want to get too crazy with color down here. And then a little bit of that Primavera in the inner corner. Some Tempera, this lighter shade, with my Precision Eye from Bare Minerals. You know, yeah, you, you guys know that, that tip right there. Little Tempera, inner corner. As well as the brow bone. I think shadow looks pretty done. In this light, anyway. When I get some actual light, might be a different story. Okay. Let's go in with some better than sex mascara. Better than sex. Better than sex. Mm, yo, wand. I like the shape. like the weight. I like how it feels in my hand. I just saw a thing on Facebook, actually, like different people putting on mascaras in different ways, like the O face or like the wide eye, the blinker. You know, there was a whole bunch. It was actually pretty funny. I try and wink my eye down. It's almost like a blink, but I don't close my eyes all the way. I kind of saw it back and forth. There's the wide eye. Doing your makeup when you're sitting down makes such a difference. It almost feels harder because I'm not used to it. I have always done my makeup standing on my feet. So sitting down is really different. Not like different bad, just different. Weird. Not weird bad. Just weird. Mascara applied. Yes, ma'am. You need some highlight and looky looky what I've got. Sleek, yes, a solstice, yes, solstice, yes. It comes in a gorgeous case that is gold, has the four highlight colors. We've got the ecliptic, hemisphere, subsolar, and equinox. Da, 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 da. I am going to grab my highlighting brush from Ulta. Let's just, you know, get the excess off here. Smells like a brush. I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous color, which is subsolar. Woo! Yes, highlight. Just going to be shining bright like a diamond today. <laughs> Lips. Hmm. I like it. I think today I'm going to go in with two products. I'm going to start out with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wearing Lipstick in Queen Bee. It's a really pretty purpley nude color. Very, very pretty. So I'll start there. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. I do like this color a lot. The other color I have is Feeling Myself, which is a really pretty corally color. Oh, that works. That works a lot better, doesn't it? Covering up that bright light in the back. Yes, those two colors so far are my go-tos because basically that's all I have. I do have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the color Zurich. So that one is actually really pretty too. And... Because I am a lip gloss fan, I'm going to go over it with some Ulta Mineral Lip Gloss. This is in Sheer Opal. This is um, one that I got in a little travel 
freebie, freebie bag a little while ago. Look at that. Look at that shine. Oh, it just feels so smooth. And it makes my lips feel so luscious. Pucker up your lips like this. All right, wouldn't be complete without a little bit of Urban Decay. Chill setting spray. <laughs> I did that. I have chill and all nighter. And you know what? My last video, I said maybe I should double fist it. Oh my God, yes. That was lovely. <laughs> I recommend doing that. Definitely. I just washed my hair and I don't have to straighten it because this is how it is when I don't do anything to it. Um, I pat it up in a clip after I dried it. I did use some like anti-static calming kind of a serum because I get a lot of static in my hair. When you get some static up in there, eh, no. So that is my look today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks guys. I'll see you later.